far, the World Economic Forum has seen a vigorous defense of Africa's risk profile and an aggressive push by African representatives making the case that the risk of doing business in Africa is persistently overstated. With the details, here's CCTV's Ramanyang. De-risking Africa was the title of the conversation at Davos, and it immediately came under fire. President Jacob Zuma and several other African leaders argue that Africa's problems with risk are more about perception than actual facts. I think there's evidence that Africa is growing. There's also evidence that African leaders have collectively come together to do things that is going to make Africa to move forward. We have collectively dealt with the issue of democracy in the continent of Africa. <clears throat> we are entrenching democratic rule. This viewpoint was echoed by Rwanda's president, Paul Kagame. While more elections have certainly been held across Africa and power has moved from one government to another peacefully in several countries, democracy still does face its challenges. In Mali, for example, a combination of a military coup, long simmering disenfranchisement to the government in Bamako and military intervention in the ouster of Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi in neighboring Libya led to the overthrow of a civilian government and now French-led military intervention. And if we don't contain the problem in northern Mali, definitely it will affect other countries. And that's one of the reasons why Nigeria has to move fast. With average projected growth rates of 5%, African representatives at Davos are keen to market African economies as the key frontier market to do business in. Nigeria's agriculture minister, for example, is seeking the investment needed to turn the country from Africa's largest rice importer to being self-sufficient in the crop. And he's not the only one who's in Davos seeking business opportunities there. We are looking forward to having this uh, commodities exchange um, established in Rwanda to serve uh, citizens, uh, farmers. But even more exciting, it has an an approach to serving the East African community as a whole. But were investors convinced by the pitches they heard? Companies on the continent predictably are more concerned with immediate problems like a lack of infrastructure, roads, railings and stable affordable energy supplies. But political jitters are never far away. In Davos, President Zuma said his government is, quote, not making any threat to anyone. This reconciliatory tone was aimed at mining companies, and it came after the ANC attacked restructuring among mining firms as cynical and dangerous, with the party secretary general then threatening to review the mining firm's licenses. It wasn't enough, however, to stop the rand slide against the American dollar, which dropped to a four-year low past the psychologically important nine rand to the dollar mark. Ramanyang, CCTV.